Okay, hi everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you the basic how to configure MicroTrade by command lines. In the last video, I'm also to, I'm also to show you about the MicroTrade. Uh, something related with the GUI configure MicroTrade in the GUI. But in this video, I'm I will to show you the basic for the beginner, for the starter, for the learn the the basic learn of the MicroTrade configure. So you have to know the basic command that you can tie the command line. You can uh, uh, change the something in the first in the com in the micro text by the command line. Okay, in this video, I will to show you the basic that you have to do. Okay, I will to show you in the JNSV for the testing the micro text uh, learning for the micro text uh, basic uh, command line. Okay, this is the first. 2 and 3 okay this is a step by step that you have to do in this video by the basic the command line that you have to learn about the basic okay the first I will to show you how to change identity micro take name by the command line oh, because uh, before I'm show you how to choose the command line in the micro take I will explain so you uh, for the GUI I said to the magnetic by the wind box okay this is the wind box that we have that you have to log in I said to the GUI of the magnetic okay and double click on wind box okay that you see this is the MAC address magnetic can be logged to into magnetic by MAC address or uh, IP address when you don't have the IP address you, you can log in by the MAC address Okay, and then you can see my address field, IP address field, and identity field version and uh, version of the MicroTech. Okay, this is uh, the first step for in this in this video. I will to check identity uh, name of the MicroTech because uh, this is the is very important that you have to change. No need use default for the MicroTech. It's important when I have a lot of brand. It's important. Um, uh, um, I have so uh, AQ and uh, I have brand one, brand two, brand three. So we have to change identity. The name of the microtech take easy to manage the why. It's important. Uh, my take for the brand. I'm change to the AQ. Uh, sorry, my take at the AQ. I'm change to the the identity HQ and for the brand and change identity for the brand one, brand two, brand three. Okay, the so we we easy to manage of the buy and subread the name of the buy. When I'm logged into the uh, microtech, so the the name of the microtech of the HQ and when I log into the brand uh, device at, uh, at the brand, so we we, we can see the identity identity name of the brand. So easy to my next or easy to identify and easy to uh, to know about the, the name of the device uh, not confuse uh, the name this is the reason that you have to change identity name in the microtech okay example i'm um, locked to the gui first okay okay and then this is the uh, identity name I'm locked to the microtech by default. Microtech put the name microtech, so I don't need uh, this name. I, I, I example this microtech at the HQ, so I, I change the identity name to the HQ for the router because I don't need this name for uh, default of the microtech. Okay, and then I'm I, I'm changed by the command lines because in this video we learn from the command line. Okay, for the step one, change identity. Microtech name. Okay, and then I'm go to the microtech. Okay, you can see the identity name microtech. So I I change to the XU. Okay, you can type the command system ident identity. Okay, identity set name. Just Okay, you can set name example. I'm set AQ. Okay, when I'm set, when I type this command, you can see name AQ for the 
identity change the XG name. Okay, so easy to manage for the uh, this router is with the device at the XG when we remote to the device by the public IP or remote by the VPN. So we can see the identity name. Okay, easy to know which one is a AQ router, which one is the grand router. So easy. Okay, for the step one, we already need to change identity. Uh, my good name by the command line. You can type the command line system identity set name for the name that you want to put for identify for the name of the your device. Okay, and then uh, for the step two, we have to create username and password for login to the Magitek. Okay, and then I'm close this one. Okay, I'm logging again for the WinBot for show you. Okay, when you log in to the Magitek by default, the Magitek use the login the username admin and the password blank. Okay. Uh, the password no blank, so I don't want I don't want like this because someone I I log into my device for the by default the login username admin and password will be the blank password. So I have to I have to add, create the new username the password. I have to create the new username the password new for easy to uh, 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 manage. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to the the change the username and password. Uh, no change. I'm going to the create the new username and password. Okay, and then I'm at the first. I'm changing the, the 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 password admin. You can type password, and then you can put the old password. By default, the old password is not. It's mean blank. You can enter again, okay, and then you can go. Uh, it put the new password. Example, I uh, uh, type one two three four five six. Confirm password one two three four five six. Okay, and then you can uh, log in already. For uh, you can uh, 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 reset the password already for the username and admin. So I'm so I'm um, Okay, I'm. Um, Okay, I'm reboot system reboot. Okay, this command I'm happy to show you are also in this video system reboot. Okay, and then I'm unlock again. Okay, you can see wrong username and the password because we change the the password. Okay, you can log in by default the uh, admin and the blank password uh, like before because we uh, we change the, the password already. Okay, you can type one two three four five six. Okay, so you can log into the magnetic when you type the password correct. Okay, but um in this video I'm change the the old password to the new password and then I'm create the uh, username and password one more easy to manage by the person which one that you want to assign to this device this person use this username and the password this person you do username and password easy to assign to your staff or your people that uh, from uh, asset to, uh, to the your device okay and then I'm go to the microdate admin one two three four five six and then I'm um, type the command user name okay, user okay and then you can add name okay you can put the name for the create the new user example I'm and post my name many okay and then password I'm put the password uh one two three four five six the same and enter okay for the group Okay, this one you can see the group. You can put the group. Okay. Okay, by the four group. Okay, by the four group has three. Okay, full permission read only and write only. Okay. 
Okay, and in this video, I'm create user domainly. I'm assign permission to the user menu for the full. Okay, group for the full. Okay, then you can try full group. Okay, already. So you, I will to show you the command that show the username and the password by the command line. You can try username. Okay, and then you can go to the user and try the command print. Okay, the command print is the command that deploy uh, username. When we log into the, we go to the username and try the command print. Print is mean deploy the uh, username and username that you see admin and password. This is the the uh, admin for the system default user and this is many the user that we create. Okay, okay, and then um go to the winbox and I set to the A. Okay, and type the password one two three four five six. So you can see um I can log into the my router by the username menu and password one two three four five six. Okay, this is the uh, username that we create for the my share. Okay, and for the for the step three, I'm going to show a uh, command for reboot, reset configuration, and uh, start and shut down. Okay. Okay, and then okay, and then I'm going to show you the command uh, reboot. Okay, for the command reboot, reset configuration, and the uh, Shut down easy to remember. This is command easy. Okay, you can try. Okay, you can try a uh, system reboot. Okay. System reboot. Okay, you can enter. Okay, what you want to reboot? The mistake alert you just or no? When you try Y, it's mean yes. Okay, when you try no, it's mean not yet. You know, reboot, but currently I um, want to reboot. You can try to guess why. Okay, when you reboot, you will to see the GUI uh, reboot also. Okay, okay, router is disconnect. Okay, okay, this is the command that uh, you want to know also. System reboot for reboot the uh, magnetic device. Okay, I'm logged in again. Okay, for one more command, uh, command reset configuration. Okay, the command reset configuration. This is a command that we we have to reset all the configuration that we we configured before. We want we want to reset all the configuration to the original before of the magnetic know something to configure you want to reset so you can tie the command reset configuration okay example i'm show you before i'm show you uh, uh, create the username and password i'm um, show you uh, username okay okay before i'm show you i'm um, create the uh, create the username I mean for when i'm reset the config when i'm use a common reset configuration so don't see anymore the menu because reset to the default uh, magnetic uh, router on DC on on DC uh, admin user okay when reset okay many don't see anymore okay and then I'm um, go to my page um, okay, um, reset configuration system Okay, reset configuration. Okay, you can type the command uh, system a reset configuration. This is the command that uh, reset our configuration for something that we we complete before before in the magnetic to the default configuration. Okay, and then I type enter and click and type the yes for why. Okay. After we reset the 
the GUI or interface be easy to connect also. Okay, as you see, the GUI. Okay, and then you can see the MicroTech, and then when you start again, you don't see. Uh, uh, you can see. Now you can see the many user. When um, we start a uh, multi again, we don't see any more for many because we reset already. Okay, I'm logging again. Okay, okay, and then you can see uh, identify change to the port also. Before we change name identify identity to the issue, and then we reset already. We uh, go into the default uh, configuration at uh, the multi. Okay, and then I'm logging again. Okay. Uh, sorry. No password. Okay. Okay, and then I'm um, I'm go to the show you the username and password. Show you. Okay, user. Okay. okay, and then we reset already. You, you cannot see the username menu anymore before we, we reset successfully to reset and working right now. Okay, you just see only, you just saw only admin. Okay, okay, and for the and for the uh, command reboot, command reset configuration already, and the last command that. We have to do in this video uh, command shutdown, okay? And then I'm going to the my data and try to command shutdown, okay? System shutdown, okay? This, this command is meant to of the uh, my data router, okay? Already to uh, turn on. No my day. Okay, and for chef uh, step one, step two, step three. The, uh, or I'm already to show you, but the next video I'm going to show you the one more the uh, uh, basic of the command that you have to know in the my day. I'm trying to find the concept of the learn concept learn opening of the magnetic by the command line to your load so easy easy uh, for the starter or beginner of the magnetic learning okay okay in this video i'm finished okay thank you for watching my video i also all of you like comment share especially subscribe on my channel cisco dangor and also one more my channel cisco my learning this is a channel in my country and this is called Triangle's channel for international because we speak in English easy all of you understand for the English and the Cisco Django uh, speak uh, English version this is my Cisco learning speak in the my international language in my national language my language okay okay thank you for watching my video